Hello guys, in this video I am going to uh, talk about Hopf transform for circles. So suppose we want to detect uh, these circles using Hopf transform. How we can do that? We are going to, uh, I am going to show it now. So uh, consider this example. So this is, uh, this is the image that I have and I want to detect these circles over here. These edges, the circle edges over here or circle circum circumference over here. So what I'm going to do is first let me use a Sobel edge detector. So uh, there are a lot of kinds of edge detectors, Privet, Sobel, etc. So I'm going to use the Sobel edge detector. So if suppose you don't know what is edge detection and what is Sobel edge, you can click on this video over here that uh, that has my link to my edge detection video. So you can watch it. So I'm using Sobel edge detector and it is giving me uh, this output over here. You can see that uh, there are a lot of uh, nulls over here. You can see that there is no edge detected over here. You can see no edge detected over here, over here, over here. So they, these edges are kind of discrete or they, they don't connect. They are not giving me a good circle over here. So using Hopf transform, I want to connect all these uh, pixels basically. So let us see how we can do that. So this is the equation of a circle, right? Now consider this is my xy plane. Now what do I mean by xy is very important. So xy meaning over here is when I go from here to here, I am varying x. When I am going from here to here, I am varying y. And that is this thing over here. So when uh, this goes from here to here, this x is going to vary. When this goes from here to here, this y is going to vary. That's that's what I mean. So, and if I put this x and y in this equation basically for this particular uh, circle. So, what I will get? So, you will see that this center is nothing but a comma b. Say for consider for this circle, this center will be a comma b. And what will be corresponding x, y? Corresponding x, y will be the circumference points. So if this center is a comma b, this particular pixel is a comma b. If I put that into this equation, then the circumference, every point on the circumference can be denoted by x comma y with a given radius r. So I guess this is clear that in this plane, the points on the circumference belong to x comma y the center point belongs to a comma b and this uh, distance between the center and the circumference is r so i guess this is clear now what we are going to do is consider a particular pixel say this pixel say name it 2 comma 3 suppose that this is 2 comma 3 okay so what happens over here is uh, this particular x, let me substitute 2 over here. So now this is 2. So 2 minus a the whole square and this y is now 3. So that is 2 minus a the whole square, 3 minus b the whole square. This is what I have now. So suppose I take this equation now. So in this equation, you can see that now x and y are constant. And a and b I am going to vary. Why am I doing this? Because in, in reality, I don't have this point A comma B. In reality, things were like this. I just have this image. I don't know which pixel is A, B, A comma B. I, I have no clue. Also, I don't know the radius. So I want to find out this A comma B and this radius. These three parameters, if I find out, I can precisely get this circle. So that is what I'm going to do. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going into a AB plane. So this AB plane is not very different from the XY plane. It is very, very similar. So please pay attention on what I say. So uh, as I said before, this points on the circumference are X comma Y and the center is A comma B for this particular plane points on the circumference x comma y center is a comma b now when you go in this particular plane this a b plane what is going to happen is that the points on the circumference over here will correspond to a comma b 
and the center point will correspond to x comma y so let me uh, show you with the example so i have taken this example this pixel 2 comma 3 so now this 2 comma 3 becomes a constant and using this equation now where i am in this plane now where this is a and this is b i am going to plot a circle assuming that i know the radius so this this value is uh, say i just take an ar arbitrary value suppose that this value is 3 so i have uh, let me remove this so i have r is equal to 3 suppose right so i have r is equal to 3 so with that let me plot a radius so what is this uh, r is equal to 3 this is this r so suppose that i know uh, what is the radius of this circle so i can get this particular circle how did i get this i just put uh, r is equal to 3 over here and i got this equation where now i have a and b as my variables and uh, i can plot a circle so over here every point on this circumference of the circle is nothing but corresponding to a and b and the center over here is nothing but x comma y so i hope you get this this particular point over here has transformed to this circle over here right now suppose i take another point on the circumference so now i am taking this point on the circumference so that will correspond to this particular uh, circle over here just uh, so x comma y this is the x comma y that tells you the center and with this radius i'm just going to draw a circle using this equation basically next i am taking this point over here and that corresponds to this circle over here taking this point over here corresponds to this circle over here taking this point over here that corresponds to this circle over here now if you see closely you can see that these circles intersect at a same point all these circles are intersecting over here and without a doubt this is the actual a comma b location that we wanted to find so this is our uh, point of interest this is what we want because that was unknown to us so the point where all the circles intersect is the point that we want it is our a comma b so like this we can find that out so how will we do this practically is uh, we can visualize a image like this so what is this image this image pixel values uh, indicate the number of intersections so here you can see at this point the pixel value is very high this is quite a white image a white pixel so this basically tells you that over here we have at this particular pixel there are maximum or many intersections you can see at other pixels also there are some intersections so those intersections are also there but there are relatively less to this intersection so that is what this image basically tells you so you can get a picture as to how you can detect this a comma b just uh, get an image so for every point that is detected as an edge by the detector you uh, make uh, this kind of a graph uh, this kind of a a comma b space and uh, note the number of intersections at every pixel so over here there is one intersection so that that corresponds to some pixel over here and the story so now you can see for this to work you should know the radius so now and what what is this radius this is the radius of this particular circle if suppose using this radius you try to detect other circle that will not be possible because say uh, if i consider a point over here and that is uh, corresponding to this particular circle now i consider a point over here somewhere and that corresponds to this circle then this point then this point you can see now these circles don't meet at the same point over here the reason that the the radius of this particular circle is greater than the uh, the circle that we have so that is giving you four different points so that is what you can see over here when you when will you will take every pixel uh, every x comma y on the circumference over here and try to map it map it over here you will see this kind of a, uh, a image
so this will only work for those uh, circles that are having this particular radius value so uh, you understand the intuition so the intuition is that uh, you take uh, you uh, pass the image through an edge detector take every pixel on the edge that is detected and make a circle uh, out of it and then uh, take the maximum number of intersections that will be your uh, what we say the a comma b that you want but now let us see what will happen if we don't know r we want r also variable so then this will be a kind of a situation where you have a b and there is the third dimension that is talking about r so now your r is also a variable so now let's see what happens with this kind of a thing so let us take the same example this is our image and suppose i take this point so this point is our x comma y which is again say 2 comma 3 so this is our uh, 2 comma 3 x comma y right now that point corresponds to this uh, this point over here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take different values of r and plot the circle so now suppose i took this particular value of r and for this value i got this circle over here then i will take other value of r now i took this value of r and i have plotted the circle so like this with different values of r i can plot the circle so this uh, i am showing you uh, very different uh, dif different different uh, values of r just for visualization in real case you will have to take uh, small steps of r so that you get a good detection so you can see that one point over here this 2 comma 3 point over here becomes a cone in this parametric space this 3d parametric space where you have a b and r three variables so this point became a cone over here similarly if suppose i take another point over here so i can have a similar uh, cone for this particular point and you can see that these cones are intersecting somewhere so you run the algorithm for all the points that you have on this circle uh, all the points that are detected basically and uh, you will get a cone for each of these points and find out the maximum intersection where these cones are intersecting for more most number of times and that will precisely tell you the a b and the r of that particular circle so if over here you uh, you take all the points and make cones uh, uh, cones over here then you will uh, get a point in 3d suppose this is the point suppose where you are getting maximum intersections where these maximum cones are intersecting so that corresponding value of uh, a b and r will give you uh, uh, the circle for this uh, this particular circle so that when you put that into that equation x minus a uh, this equation over here oops i will have to go a lot back yeah this equation when you put that in this equation you will get uh, this uh, good looking circle over here so that is uh, the hoff transform for circles so like this you can have hoff transform for any uh, any shape so whatever shape you have you just uh, see how many parameters does that shape have so like the circle had three parameters a b and r so other shapes whatever you want to detect in a particular image you you can uh, have uh, different numbers of parameters and you can make a parametric space like this and transform that particular uh, image to that parametric space or uh, i would say edges to that parametric space find the maximum number of intersections that will give you the value of these parameters and when you put that parameter value you will get the desired circle that you want so i hope you understood this video if you have any doubts you can always uh, put them into the comments and um, thank you so much for watching thank you so much